Hello, Sergei. Hello, Tobias. It's good to uh, good to see you. How are things? Yeah, you too. Well, excellent. Well, despite the the situation, uh, everything is good. So maybe you could um, you could uh, tell us a little bit about who you are and uh, and what you uh, do in basics. Uh, well, so I'm Xavier Farina. I'm the concrete technologist for Basics. Um, actually, I am uh, helping the different projects uh, from Basics all over the world uh, to help them about concrete. So everything related to material concrete, uh, depending on the location, on the type of project. Uh, so it's mainly for specific concrete where it's a little bit more difficult than usual. As we are working a lot in hot countries and also making a project where we have massive concrete structure, we are facing a lot of troubles in terms of temperature. Uh, we need to stay below a certain maximum of temperature. We need to avoid thermal cracks by limiting the difference of temperature inside an element. Um, Therefore, we need on a lot of different projects to monitor the temperature uh, to, to be sure that we are not exceeding these values. And for that, having a wireless monitoring temperature and being able to see in real time what is the temperature in the concrete that you are casting is really helpful. And especially for me and for basics where we have a lot of projects outside of, the, of Belgium, um, I can see what is the temperature in the concrete in uh, Dubai for the moment, in one of our projects in Dubai, when I am sitting in my office in Brussels, and this ju just by looking on my smartphone. So that's really, really convenient. And for example, when we have uh, huge towers, like we, we have a few projects like this, we always need to climb the formwork as soon as we can. And of course, having a good calculation of the maturity is uh, is a, a huge advantage for us to to go faster in the in the planning. So so what does it take for you guys to go from monitoring temperature to monitoring strength in real time with a system like uh, Matrix? We just have to do a calibration curve in advance a little bit before starting the project. It's a really easy way to do it. It's a it's a few crushing of samples that we do in the lab. Actually, it's exactly what we already but that we what we always do uh, usually but at this moment we do this for a few crushing and then we stop crushing because everything is automatically cal calculated by um, uh, by the maturity system so this is a real gain of time um, and money actually because it's a lot of c cylinders or, or cubes that you don't have to crush after that That's a really good question. Um, well, first, try it. It's so easy to, <laughs> the best way is to try it, to, to see, to, to be convinced, of course. We can gain a lot of time and uh, by using it. And um, it, it's, it's a real relief, actually, because you can really, okay, it will simplify a, a process that is ongoing uh, and you can focus on something else because everything will be almost automatically because of, of using the maturity system. Yeah. I don't know if well, my answer was really clear, but uh. it, it's it's uh, it's perfect, uh, Xavier. So um, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for your time and uh, thanks for the talk. Thank you very much, and Bye. see you soon, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye.